I started to develop the software just for myself, not with the vision to start to sell the software. And, uh, and that software was doing the design work automatically. And that's in effect how HSB CAT started. The software that we developed first was stick framing, but soon after that there was the need to have a solution for roof elements, for log building. And now we have the software for a CLT, cost laminated timber, which is really the next big thing in wood construction worldwide. We try to capture the architect's intent and translate to construction documents, to driving machines, to uh, effectively produce the, what the architect designed. The main uh, feature is the possibility to allow our customers to go all the way, that is to go 100%. It's not sufficient to have 80% of your machine instructed. No, you need your machine to be fully instructed to be fully accurate so the level of detail is an equally important um, feature of our software. First step of course in that process is to detail um, in the CAT environment the, the product where every nail will be put where every piece of timber is placed. We go over to shop drawings like how has the thing to be composed how to to build, uh, to be assembled. From that original design, we also generate CNC data to, for the numerical machines, but also images, uh, PDF reporting. We do call quality control if all information is there. Finally, we generate also a content to be pushed into our uh, cloud environment, such that issues can be tracked um, on site, the building can be built and so on. We provide solutions for small companies, mid-range and large companies. For the small companies, it's typically the design part, where they want to detail. But for the large companies, it's the full suite, uh, full um, automation of the factory, integration with ERP systems, uh, integration with material delivery, planning, uh, optimization of that process. We are committed to maintain our pioneering position in the industry, allowing companies to utilize our software solutions to migrate from their old construction methodologies into newer, better and more sustainable ways of working.